Good day! Today we're going to be discussing cross-tab queries in Microsoft Access 2007 and how they can help you calculate and tabulate your productivity. Particularly, we're going to use three functions. How many times you use the phone, how many times you send out a letter, an email really, and how many times you use a site, whether a website or going to a physical site. And like most of us, you've probably got more than one, two, maybe even three or four things on the ball. Let's say four different jobs or tasks. For me, we're going to look at YouTube, Snippets, which is a written blog I produce, LinkedIn, which of course many of us are aware of is social media, and a book I'm working on. And for those four jobs, we're going to look at the aforesaid phone, site, and letter in a cross-tab query. And we're going to look at the cross-tab query design, the end result, but first, we're going to look at the form as to how the data is played out before a cross-tab query is created and tabulated. It'll take a few minutes, but I think at the end you'll have a better idea of how powerful cross-tab queries in Microsoft Access 2007 can be for you. Now, before we get to that cross-tab query, let's look at the form. And one of the keys to a cross-tab query is having your data set up properly so a cross-tab query can work to its best optimal ability. Over here, we have in this column down here, it's multicolored, this is due to conditional formatting, is let's call it the job. And as I had mentioned, I've got four tasks. LinkedIn, highlight in red, snippets, which is the blog, YouTube, which we can see here is in yellow font with the brown background, and book here, blue background, green font. Alright, so that's the job column here which will be very important to our cross-tab query. The next part is this column here which we've called task and as you can see as mentioned there will be letter and site and if we scroll down a few here we'll see phone coming up there. There's phone and again conditional formatting here. This column here and this column here have been truncated for sensitivity reasons and as we can see just getting off track for a moment if we can conditional formatting is very very handy as you can see quickly you've got AM or PM and the days of the week are formatted differently by color and also you've got your weekend versus weekday this is the unique primary number identifier here but what we're gonna have for our cross-tab query are primarily this column here and this column here and there's going to be a count and it's very important to remember if we can go down here for a moment you see down here there's 1150 records very important number to remember as you shall soon see why in our cross-tab query so let's get to the final result of the cross-tab query and then we'll go to the design of that cross-tab query. Now this is a snapshot of the query, cross-tab query in datasheet view showing the results. And you can see how beneficial it can be. Here are our three tasks, letter, phone, and site. This column here is the total, and this should really say total of tasks, okay? So it totals all your letters, 880, the phone, there was 48 calls, and the site. This is strictly part of the cross-tab query itself. Now this cross-tab query was based on an underlying query. Here we've got again our four different jobs, book, LinkedIn, snippets, and YouTube. And if we look across here, the book, there were three letters. There was 219 letters for LinkedIn, there was 63 letters for Snippets, and 595 for YouTube. And if you take these numbers here, these four, they equal 880. Similarly, the total of 48 for the phone, there was one call by book, and 47 by YouTube, and for the site visits or website, there was 27 for my book, 18 for LinkedIn, 130 for the blog, Snippets, and 47 for YouTube. So this cross-tab query, which is a query wizard function, which is great, took the underlying query and came up with this total automatically for us. 
We're now going to go into the design of that crosstab query. We're going to look at that, and then we're going to go back to the forum and see how that plays out vis-a-vis -vis this crosstab query to make sure it's accurate and correct. We're in the design of the crosstab query, and as mentioned, the crosstab query was based on records from an underlying query, which is this name here. Now, lower exercises, you can see here, which is highlighted in yellow, this field here, I had criterion of those four jobs, YouTube or LinkedIn or snippets or book. Over here, the unit of measurement, which is an awkward title, but really, really means tasks. And those tasks were phone or like phone or like letter or like site. So that, and those are your criteria in there. And then the lower exercises here was became a group by column heading and day here and the total of day here which is a cross tab function gave you those totals that we saw on the data sheet view of the cross tab query let's go back to it very quickly so as mentioned the totals here 880 plus 48 plus 222 equals 1150 records now just as a test let's say you want to take all the YouTube values 595 plus 47 plus 47 equals 689. Let's go back to the form and see if that holds true. Okay, we know we've got 1,150 records in total, and we know it plays out in the form this way. Let's see if YouTube has 689 records. So we're going to filter on the fly. You left click, then you right click, equals YouTube. And we can see clearly that there are 689 total records for YouTube. But of course, it doesn't total the phone and letter. You could do it by account here. Like we could go by site, filter equals site. And you would get 47 as we saw earlier in the cross tab query. But the cross tab query does that for us automatically. And that is the power of cross tab queries in Microsoft Access 2007. Hope that helps.